Okay, I'm back, everyone. Oops. No, I'm not. Hold on. Hmm. Sorry, let me update uh, let me update Twitch here. You know I need those VODs to be on the money. Or the, those VODs to have good timing separators. So, uh, this is DOSBox. Um, I figured I would also stream the installation process. So, we got the box here. Can you open it up? Just like the old days. Uh, there's going to be a bit more that I have to do with DOSBox. I think I have to individually mount drives, but it should be good after that. Uh, here we go. Cool background, thank you. Yep, it's not an offensive meme today, so that I'm I'm batting a thousand there. Got the hardline discs. Disc two and three. They are uh, compatible with Windows 95 and 98. Um, is that a catchy from Persona 5? Oh, no, it's not. But you can you can think that uh, it's from um, it's got it's Death Note, right? Yeah, of course it's Death Note. Uh, we've got the. Interplay Productions Reference and Troubleshooting Guide. The, uh, let's see here, the Please Read. Directions for proper installation and startup of Hardline. DOS-based title and require additional configuration for Windows 95. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I did it before, right? I'm in the Interplay's Most Wanted Capture, Collect, and Redeem Rewards Program. I guess if you mail in your UPCs, yeah. Oh, there's already a UPC stuck to it. Oh wait, I think they did that in that gameplay. Did they take the UPC off my box? How dare they? Place UPC here totaling $39. You've captured level 1. Redeem for your reward now. Wait, what is your what rewards do you get? Reward for total purchases. Maybe you gotta go to the website to find out. Or whatever. Play DOS Lawnmower? What? You mean like the uh, After Dark screensaver collection? Is that what you're referring to? Okay, good. Disc one is still there. Um, I'm pretty sure my uh, optical drive works in my PC. Yes, I plugged it in specifically to play a. Uh, actually, I think I pulled this out before, but I have this drive and got it working specifically for Toki Meki check-in, which uh, I was told was was uh, was one of the better uh, visual novels. I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever uh, gained the requisite amount of experience to be able to tell a good versus a bad visual novel, but that's okay. Okay, so now I've got my disc. I need to mount it. Let's see, what's the mount command here in DOSBox? Mount, okay, that's easy. Actually, hold on a second. Let me make a folder that will be my DOSBox. So let's see here. Mount. C, C, backslash, DOS box. Okay, and then what is my, what drive letter is my disk? It is E, or F, okay, so. Mount, D for disk, backslash. There we go, D, there, yep. All right, so I got my C drive mounted, there's nothing there, D drive mounted. You have an optical drive, I do. I do. Oh, uh, Steph's playing Call of Duty, so she's she's playing Call of Duty with an old friend. Uh, two, two Larmy AJ, Tool Army. Thank you for the Prime sub. Hey, uh, and Blair, thank you for the Prime sub. D Hargrove, I see you in there with your with your uh, hourglass flip. I'm gonna do this just for you. There. And now you'll just have to imagine it. Whatever. Okay. Uh, usually there's like a setup. I guess hardline. Hopefully this installs the game. I guess we'll find out. Can I full screen you? Oh. Oh dear. Let me see if that uh, if my capture hardware is still working. <laughs> I guess this is a four by three game, so I should set up my four by three scene. Oh, okay, that works. Except it's stretched for some reason. That's strange. So I would need to... Uh... <coughs> We're seeing it? Okay. I will I will fix it in a second. This is this is gonna take some uh, this is gonna take some wizardry. 
It's weird that it's stretching. I guess it's because it's scaling on my monitor, but it's just out like that. It's just getting whatever it gets and scaling it to widescreen. If it's 4x3 and you force full screen, by nature, it would be stretched, right? Mm, sort of. It, it depends. That's more an OBS and how it, how it displays the... Uh, displays the image. I think what I have is I have it, I have no matter what I send to this machine, it's stretched out into widescreen on this, this scene. Um, let me, let me check this. Yeah, it's still stretched there. No problem. I know how to fix that. Leave the stretch on for broadcast. It isn't that bad. Uh, it's, it's very, very easy to fix. That's a pretty easy fix. Um, that just means I have to, uh, well, let's see here. I should be able to do it now. Oops. Don't want to get away from this cool image of Hardline. Actually, I'm curious. Yeah, I can just maybe I can just use this scene. Because I yeah I made this one specifically, so actually I'm gonna rename it. But I do need to uh, do need to change that image on the side and that text. So, stretch ruins the nostalgia playing on an old tube TV. Exactly. And uh, with FMV games, you have to respect the creative intent behind it. Um, so here, I'll just do this real quick. I'll fix that in just a second. Actually, I can I can fix that now if I alt tab out or uh, full or <laughs> unfull screen. Full screen has become a pain in the ass, but it's something you got to play with. You got to deal with it. Uh, and let me let me work my OBS uh, magic here to make this a little better. Mm -hmm. You guys get to have me staring directly at you for a second. Let's see here. Oh, numlock is off. What the hell? There it is. There's what we want. Do 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 do. Boop. No oh, wait. Hold on. Hardline. Got to. Oop. Not that. Don't want to start dragging that around. Okay. Hardline. Battle of the Sept. <laughs> okay there we go now we're now we're uh, now we're big streaming Okay, uh, let's click back here. Click back here. Full screen. Oh, full screen it. Ooh, lost my. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta. Sometimes I gotta play the game here, right? When I full screen, Windows can decide to shuffle my my Windows around, which means I don't see. Uh, I don't see chat anymore. Unfortunately, that also means that I absolutely. So I tried SVGA and it didn't ever look right. But I'll try it anyway. Um, I'll try it this time. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I can only assume this is exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Ah, test okay. I do remember it looking weird and running poorly when I picked that up, but uh, let's configure. I'm pretty sure it the default works. 
attempt to configure automatically. Oh, my speakers were on. Whoops. I also have... <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sound card testing. Sorry, that was probably super blown out. Um, <laughs> that was quite loud. Uh, I did hear sound playing, but I would like you to play it again. Ah! Dang it, okay. No. Type hard to run the game. See hard line! <laughs> ah, er, d, bang! Uh, yeah, when I had this, like, color depth set back in the, uh... Yeah, it's, it's all fucked. It's, it's fucked. It's, like, crackling a lot? Maybe it'll be fine? It doesn't feel like it'll be fine? Also, it's like hyper widescreen. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't actually look bad. I don't know why it's like so widescreen, though. It's still stretched. I mean, yeah, it is. It's like. Even though I have it, like, anamorphically compressed back into not widescreen, it's still stretched. It's, like, hyper-stretched. You can hear that cyberpunk coming in, though. Yeah, that, like, the, the aspect ratio is just absurd. I don't know what's going on. I'm actually here. Like, why is it- why is it so wide? It's not supposed to be like that. Um, but, I don't remember how to quit. There it is. Maybe there's an option for like- oh. Subtitles definitely want those on. Sound channels. Ooh. There's- there's not really, and like, the up and down, like, the, the sensitivity's all weird. I don't know why it's doing this. I think this is, like, supposed to be high, the high art mode or something. Okay, so hold on. I do recall, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Oops. Well, that didn't work at all. Is it RM? No. Thought it was delete. It doesn't matter. Um, Rim Deer. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna just here. I'll just go to do the installation again. Um, Hopefully it'll just let me, it won't detect it, install and let me do it again. I'm trying to remember how to, <clears throat> I don't, I don't remember being able to run the config. Yeah, I think it just, <clears throat> what's going on? <clears throat> I think it just launches the game. Yeah, you have to, okay, so hold on, go away. <laughs> so wide, look at how wide this, this thing is. Ah, dang it, stop it. Okay, like that shouldn't be, I don't know why you're like that. That's what happens when I pick that that t tall ass. Uh, it's like when you pick uh, what's like 16-bit color. For some reason, it comes out like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close DOSBox. Yeah, I remember that happening before. So let me just get rid of those. Actually, if I deleted the CFG file, that might have worked. But maybe on drunk, but coding ASMR is a thing. Just found your bridge into the ASMR core. Oops, that was not the one I was supposed to full screen. Um, well, I'm not coding right now. These are just, uh, these are just shell commands. God damn, Windows! I don't understand how when something goes full screen, it decides to, like, shuffle everything else. Inscrutably. Just moves everything around. Okay. There. <sighs> okay. Yes, you got snacks. Damn it. Mm-hmm. I was... It's gotta be. Someone mentioned DOSBox having an aspect ratio lock. 
Um, is it like in the CFG file? It's really not that hard to fix this, but I got distracted and put in the wrong command. Fuck it. Unmount, unmount. I just did unmount Musashi. It was right on the screen. <laughs> I just tried that. That's a Linux thing, yeah. Uh, it is a Linux thing. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Ah, come on. There we go. Was it F? Fuck. I don't remember. Try. Okay, so you just pasted a ton of stuff, but you didn't give me any context of where that goes or how to use it. So I, I'm guessing there is like a there's a CFG text file you can put all that stuff into, and the config file. Okay. I'll put for version zero zero full screen true aspect true. Well, again, that I this I know how to fix this. I know how to. Don't worry. Do not worry. Worry worry zero amounts. It's F. Okay. What? Oh, I'm trying to show us. We have these little cards that I've never seen, so I'm gonna have to ask about it. We'll type in. Mm hmm. Okay. I gotta get all those megs in there. You were one worried? Do not. Do not. Just trying to restart my modem. I should. I should. Yeah, it's weird. For some reason, picking like 16 million colors. I don't know. Some, also, a lot of DOS games tried to be way more technically advanced than they had a right to be. So, we're downloading the RAM now. But yeah, DOS installers is a lost art, or installers in general. It just doesn't happen now. Like, UI, or, or individual UIs handle all that, and usually it's just a boring bar that fills up while you're downloading. Old, old DOS installers, man, that, that was part of the experience. Which is why I really liked that Command and, the Command & Conquer remake adapted the installers to be part of the game. Uh, shootest... Shootest Mans, thanks for the Prime sub. Uh, Steph got a bunch of snacks from uh, a British acquaintance, co-worker. We did a snack exchange. Steph sent them over a ton of snacks and they sent back digestibles, which I can't wait for. Uh, I found the GOG forum post that has a config file. You need to edit to fix the aspects ratio if you want it. It's, oh, specifically for this game? For like 16-bit color or whatever? Hmm, yeah, sure. Fire it on over. Uh, yeah, we might, I guess we might as well play on uh, on maximum maximum color and maximum resolution. Oh, for DOSBox. I'm not convinced that it's a DOSBox problem. I think that just might be the game. Um, because, again, if you, pick, if you pick a different color ratio, it plays totally fine. If you pick the 256 colors, I don't know why it goes ultra widescreen if you try to pick higher color depth because it's the same resolution makes no sense I'm about to have your cheat meal nice funhouse install was also a shit show I mean it was exactly this I installed it with the the higher resolution I wanted the install to be part of the part of the video so yeah if you pick yeah it's 640 by 400 either way it's just this has a million more colors. I don't really give an SVGA mode. A Pentium is highly recommended. Get out of here. How about that? <phone rings> Press any key to begin mode analysis. What was the fix in the video? Exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm not confused. I know what to do. How much time at Funhouse was spent just installing games? Eh, not that much. Older games could sometimes... Older games, aka the ones specifically that I would want to do gameplays for, took some... Uh, could sometimes take some, some effort. Okay, now... Now I can look at the audio levels. Let me turn it down a little first so we get another sweet explosion. Alright. Good. Good. That was that was exactly where I needed it to be. Did not peak or anything. And there's no way it's gonna get louder than that. Alright.
time for time to get hard. Time to enter the time to bash right up against the hard line. See, like you can tell the ratio, the like aspect ratio is fine now. I don't know what it is. Huh. They're with the hearing in my other ear. Hey, if that one got you, you got nobody to blame but yourself. You knew that one was coming. Yeah. Look at how good this video game is. Also, I don't think it has any, like, title screen. It just goes into it. Which is also why this game is the best. And you might see a familiar name in the credits. Um, other than Command & Conquer, what is the best FMV game? Heavy Rain? Oh, no. Dark Forces 2. Excellent pick. I mean, this one's not bad. Sewer Shark? Yeah, that's good. Uh-oh. Okay. Whew. That was close. Yeah, the Tex Murphy games. Wing Commander 3... Oh, crap. You guys are actually coming up with some good shit. Control? I think Control counts. Maybe it doesn't. You guys are unironically answering the question. Phantasmagoria. Very good. Zach Cannon, thank you for the sub. Uh, I'm going to put up shoutouts right now where they're due. Uh, I only know about this game because of another streamer. Macaw45. Like the bird. M-A-C-A-W-45. If you guys love gaming curiosities, and I certainly do, check out his stream because he he goes deeper in the paint than I've seen anyone else. The sectoids crushed everything. I'm glad we weren't there at the time. I found so many amazing games just because of his stream. Not to mention like whole threads of games. So this game was made by a, a French developer named Cryo. Uh, again, you might see a familiar name in the credits, and it'll make all the sense in the world once you do, but... Uh, Cryo has... Just an amazing legacy of games. I spell it M-A-C-A-W, like the bird, Macaw, 45. M-A-C-A-W, 45. I would type it in chat, but I can't tab out of this game. Cryo made Dune? I think so. Sick. Do you guys see all this? Dude's hair flick? He also looked like he was a little winded. They made the other dune, yeah. Westwood made the good dunes. Cryo made the other dune. Unit four, do you copy? Just consider Quantum Break to be an FMV. I think so. Um, it's certainly stylistically and and spiritually in league, which is that it's a narrative focused game that is more about narrative and performance, and then there's some shooting in between. Um, in that regard, it is very much an FMV game. Oh shit, Lethal Enforcers. That might be the greatest FMV game. Maybe Area 51? Title card! Exactly White Rabbit. You know. You know where the quality is. This is a game about the guy who lives in a helicopter? Yeah. Oh, Time Traveler? Oh, yeah, the hologram game? The fucking, the Dragon's Lair knockoff that was nearly impossible to play? Copied intro from Speed. <laughs> Man. Speed has a sick title card. Thought this was Battlefield Hardline on the Twitch sidebar? Yeah. Maybe I'll write all that Battlefield Hardline, uh, thirst. There's people who can't... Ugh, just gotta see Dragon... Or, sorry, uh, Battlefield Hardline. I actually really liked the campaign for that game. It was, it was fun. Have one of the Santa Cruz Boardwalk? What a, uh... Writers, designers, and film directors. Finally. 
Do you use any mods when playing Final Fantasy VI on stream? No. Although a lot of people did bring up... Wait, did I miss the name? Maybe it wasn't there. Anyway, David Cage worked for Cryo, so... I swear, it doesn't matter. It seems to grow larger and stronger as 1998 staggers on. The sect followers, known as the sectoids, have been continuing on their trail of mass destruction. Well, thank you for the whisper tray. Public services have been brought to a halt here in Detroit. The police force has effectively ceased to exist, and a badly depleted army is struggling to uphold what remains of law and order. Everyone here wonders how long the soldiers can resist the sect growing in size and <sighs> That's what's so weird about it, is like I guess it's supposed to be borderline post-apocalypse, but he's got, like, fast food. So I guess McDonald's is still operating, even though there's a technological cult taking over the world? Calling Ted or Mayday. Mayday. Yeah, this is Ted. What's the problem? I need immediate evac in the REV North Industrial Warehouse. Sectoids. All right, I can be there in, say, five minutes. That was a McDonald's from 10 years ago. Yeah, I guess it doesn't, uh, I guess it doesn't ever decay, so. Very quiet game. Yeah, the explosion was super loud. I can turn it up. Um, I just, I worry about the audio peaking if it goes nuts. Oh, David Cage composed music for Time Cop? Yeah, that, that game was a trip. Okay, I can, I can juice it a little. This is Evac Chopper on Final Approach. Do you read me down there? Once we get out of the uh, cinematic intro, I will turn on subtitles. Z back chopper. Does anyone copy? Look at that real helicopter. Damn. Anything else on the docket for tonight? Uh, Beat Mania. After this, I guess. No, uh, no ever. Yeah. So hot, hot weekend beats for you. We have the same headset. Yes, I'm just like Ted. All right. Well, let me go here first so I can get to the options. Subtitles on. Oh. Mm, I'm worried. I'm worried to, to crank all that audio. I think it's I think it's at a good spot. Did it actually save? It did. Okay. I don't know what actually brings up the menu. Damn it. There. The menus are very cool. Can't believe this doesn't have ray tracing. I mean, it does. You're seeing reflections in his jacket that aren't rendered in the scene. Luckily, I already know the solution to all of these clever, clever puzzles. Great. God damn sectoids. Also, if there just wasn't a gun on the ground, this man would be dead. Hey, the door's open. Come look there. Reaction. Good job, gamer. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Animated looting scenes. That's a pretty high quality gunshot sound too. Are you gonna play System Shock 2? Oh man, that game is big quality. Uh, I don't remember how to bring up the inventory. Seems like space does it, all right. I'm gonna do Area 51. No. 
classic game. Midway had a ton of just blast and arcade hits. Infinite bullets for that gun, yes. Those who gave you orders, who gave you TVs that burned your mind, for they are the beasts of a crumbling order, and now they are going to pay. I love anti-technology rants from the mid-90s. We will bring law and order to its knees. Basically, if there's one thing I want to I wanna be in my entire life, it's Henry Rollins and Johnny Mnemonic screaming and slapping monitors. I haven't really bought anything on the Steam Summer Sale. I'm, I'm blessed enough to not really... Like, I have so many games I haven't beaten already. The deck lives. The deck lives. The deck Hell yeah, the deck. There's nothing more futuristic than the word deck. enemy are inept can you go hard mode they're not inept forever I can promise you that this game actually gets pretty chonky pretty tough uh... Uh... so wait a minute huh oh okay Okay. A giant bar on the right is my life. Is anyone named Decker or Deckard in real life? I mean, me as soon as the paperwork goes through. That's true, I did buy Anime Titty Pinball at full price. You're right about that. So, I don't know. I, yeah, I should, I should go through the sale and see what I can pick up. Um, I've been getting the itch, like... I've been, I've always wanted to play every Sonic game in order, chronologically. I don't know if that counts like Mean Bean Machine and stuff like that though, so clearly I got some figuring out to do on my own, but uh... Yeah, maybe I should just poke through the, poke through the listings and see if there's anything that catches my eye. Sonic 06 is so trash. I didn't mind it! Then again, it didn't crash on me, so... I need to get back to it. I got two other stories to play through. Yeah, the jump is here. Yeah, Sonic had that franchise sale. Yeah, I, recognize it. I was thinking about getting the, uh, just buying the kit and caboodle. I like now that, too, if they have bulk sales, if you already own some of the games, it actually just takes them out of the sale price, which is nice. Ow! Hey, that was my goddamn yeah, exactly, Milk. I, I have too many, uh... <laughs> I have too many Star Wars prequel games to play through already. Holy crap, my life is is evaporating. Oh my gosh. See? Oh! What were you guys saying about this game being too easy? Fuck! Dead. Dead. God, shit, man. <laughs> rainy Monday, yeah. I It's funny you bring that up. I, I did, when I was sort of kind of trying to either... I went through a whole process through most of 2019 of convincing myself that uh, I, should, I should not go independent. One of them being that, man, if I go on Twitch, all I'm going to do is dick around and play weird-ass games all day, and no one's going to want to watch that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it turns out it's, it's working out okay. Um, but I do think if I, uh... Wait, which one was the front door? Uh, Tim the Blair, thanks for gifting five subs. Also, JD... JDT Catch? Thank you, Zach. Thanks for the sub, but... Tim, thank you so much for the, the chunk! Yeah, the chunk. Uh... Yeah, it's working out. I, I, I had thought about that a lot of, like... Would I be okay... Like... Would I be okay, com like, compromising or changing what I do and the way that I do it to make it more palatable to viewers? So, I haven't had to, I haven't had to do that yet. I haven't had to do that yet. I haven't been able to, uh, 
or I've been able to just kind of do whatever I feel like and people are okay with it, which is awesome. So thank you guys for being cool with it. Oh! Ugh, okay. Judicious use of grenades is uh, is required. Do you feel happier since oh TCAV's so much happier. So much. It's 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 hard to really It's hard to really convey how much better this is for me. Uh and I you know, it's probably better for everyone, but I'm I'm lucky to be able to be in this position and uh not only not only like you know, make rent and pay bills this way. But also have the ability to grow it into other stuff. No. Um, hey, wake up. I considered it a success to just subsist playing video games and hanging out with people, but I'm kind of at the point now where I can start investing in stuff and trying to build stuff up. So I've been talking with uh, talking with a lot of editors. Some are in chat right now to, to try and get the YouTube content flowing a little more. Um, it's fun to be able to do charity stuff whenever I want. Just like if there's a problem, Sit. just throw money at whatever I feel like and actually have the ability to do that. What if I don't? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Should I grab the gun or sit? What do you guys think? The first person to type it out. I would do a poll, but uh, maybe I can do it over mobile. Let me see if I can do that. Grab it. Dr. Socio says grab it, and I'm pretty sure everyone would too, but let me try this. Uh, TCAV, thanks for gifting out five subs. Thank you guys. I don't think you can create a poll on the dashboard, or the mobile dashboard. Ha. Ah. Alas. Ah, well. Grab that gap. Grab a tiny hand. Yeah. Just... Ooh! Listen, shithead. I sit when I feel like it. Ted's a cool dude. How are you playing this? Is it emulated? No! Um, I have the game right here, and I'm playing it through DOSBox, so... I have not finished Last of Us Part 2 yet. Plague devouring humanity? I expected more from a sector. If I was a sectoid, I'd blow your head clean off. If you were a sectoid. If I was a sectoid, shut up, Lars. Come on, Morgan. When we got to the warehouse, the sectoids were all dead. They didn't shoot themselves. I'm Ted Urban, a pilot. I shot all the bastards. It was me! I did all the murders. So you're Sectoid. It's a pity we have to be so suspicious. The sect has crushed the police and most of the army. Listen, kid. A loner like you doesn't stand a chance. Right now, all I want is a place to sleep. And a decent weapon might make tomorrow a little easier. What was the last physical PC game you bought on release? Show him a room. And, uh, give him a decent gun. That's a hard question. To... I think it may have been 20... I think it was StarCraft 2. Um, uh, Heart of the Swarm. I bought the, like, collector's edition that came in, like, the giant box and had, like, an art book and all that stuff in it, so... Minor setback at most. Come on. Morgan thinks he's a bit special, but you'll see the rebels are all right. And at least you'll get to trash some sectoids. I Crisis? Oh, man. I'm strictly freelance. He's How do you think a modern FMV would do? I mean, they're all over Twitch. Or, sorry, they're all over Steam. There's plenty of modern FMV games. Dead. Got any idea? No, but they sure made a mess of my chopper. That's our Ted. It's serious, man. Ted doesn't give a shit about nobody. Reasoning with these people. They're brain dead. They worship a god made of steel, the deck, and their leader, Ice, constantly psychs him up. Oh yeah, Telling Lies, uh, her story, a lot of great FMV games. They're at least playing around with the tropes a little bit. That was some good shooting. Oh yeah, the collector's box, the, uh, hold on a minute, you mentioned that USB stick. Um, yes. I keep it close to me like a good luck charm. Because I think it has Brood War on it. Or it came loaded with Brood War. It's not a very big USB stick, but... Here's something to carry it. Sorry, hook my earbuds. Thanks. This thing? I'll see you tomorrow. The Jim Rayner collector's tag? Yeah. And there's a... Boop. <laughs> That's 
it's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty cool little thing to have. Yeah, it's it's really neat, man. Ugh, StarCraft Two. What a ride! What a ride that was. Uh, Urban Fever, thanks for the prime. Also, Mecha Arc, thanks for gifting us up. You want it? Nope, Garrus. I'm not giving this one away. I wonder how much those go for on eBay. <sighs> Bought Rogue when it came out. Other than that, share wearing PK Unza or PK Unza worked wonders. Ah, I believe these are flashbacks, or perhaps they're delusions brought on by the deck. What's involved with platinum's, Platinuming Spyro? Declusions, that's what they're called, yep. Oh, be careful with him, he's deep in a declusion. 100 bucks on eBay, well, okay. Good to know if I need to, I need to flip some money. When did this game come out? 1996. I do, there is, there is something adorable about the hubris of the mid-90s. This is like CG was first starting to be used in Hollywood films. And it's, it's wretched. Uh, CD-ROMs, hit PCs. Just four years after the best year? Oh, the one you were, the one in which you were born? Ha! Ah! That's our man Ted, he's ready to roll out of bed and... Ice some, ice some goddamn cultists. Background noise is too distracting. Yo, you mean like Steph yelling at stuff? Oh, that rave ass song from ED Tech. Oh, never mind. Yeah. What to do, door? Sorry about the motion blur chat. I know you guys are not fans of that. Yeah, I was gonna be. I was gonna have to, uh, to unfortunately lay down the law there. No one, no one tells Steph to to cod less intensely than she does. That is not gonna happen. Because I will never, ever, ever. Oh Christ! Oh boy. RTX voice. It's it's funny that you assume that that's just something that everyone can do. Surely the streamer is just too stupid and too lazy to even remotely explore these options. So I will put a snide message in chat about it. Come on, come on. Do you do you really think a gentleman who gets a 1996 FMV game running doesn't? I'm reading too much into it. It was just a, I know you were just kidding. But everyone's just kidding. Everyone's just kidding. How about I'm just kidding? How's that make you? How's that make you feel? You can't get mad because I was just kidding. Ooh. I don't remember how to change guns. Oh, uh, I think it's the number keys. Yeah. I think. Wait. Are multiple guns? Oh! Ooh! When did I get a shotgun? Yeah, it's just a prank. <laughs> okay, well, okay, so I guess that's shotgun and this is triple gun. Which... Ah! This game is legit because it does actually, like, record him, uh... Like, walking, holding the different gun that you have equipped. I didn't know that you could just change mid mid combat though. That's pretty sick. Bang. Okay. 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 So three is shotgun. All right. No. Oh. oh shoot! That one got me.
Got it. Got it. All right. I don't know if you can just shoot his, like, can you just shoot his shield? Or can you have to shoot his legs? Who knows if there's locational damage in this game. Seems like, seems like a game that wouldn't have that. You know? <laughs> Maybe that's too, too many game plays. Or too, too many game mechanics. Uh, why can't slash won't you use RTX voice? Because I'm not streaming from the PC that I am playing this game on. And this PC that I am streaming from does not have a graphics card powerful enough to use it. And I know what you're saying, but wait, Lawrence, wait! I saw a headline saying that you can use RTX voice on cards that aren't specifically meant for it. Well, right you are. Except I followed the instructions and it still won't install on the card that I have. So, there you go. That's the full narrative. That's the dance, the dance that I've done with Chad at least 15 times since RTX voice came out. I have no idea what the fuck RTX voice is. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it is a... Uh, it's an AI uh, noise removal um, program. So... The thing is, though, RTX voice is designed to screen out everything except voices. So I'm not so sure that it would actually screen out somebody talking in the background. Maybe it would. I don't know. Yeah, once I get a 3080 Ti, I can put the 2080 Ti in the stream computer. Maybe. It actually, it wouldn't be that, probably wouldn't be that hard to buy a baseline card that can do RTX voice. Um, oh, oops, those were items. Uh, oh, did a test with his kids and it seemed to work? Yeah, I guess it, it must just pick the dominant voice, like whatever is most clear. Um... Also, I don't think my streaming computer has the power supply or even the case clearance for something like a 2080 Ti. Um, so... We'll see. I get to walk all the way down this hallway again. It works pretty well with background chatter? Okay. I don't know, does it add any lag? That's what I'm curious about. I, uh... Because that's, that's gonna get messy. If it starts, it, like, even if it adds like 100 milliseconds of, of lag, then you gotta push the webcam back, and then you gotta push the gameplay back, and like getting everything synced becomes such a... Ooh, becomes such a nightmare at that point. I'd love to get a 3000 series of video card, but I wanna wait until benchmarks get released. Yeah. Oh, no lag? Okay. I would guess it does add lag, but I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just a very little bit. Ooh. Gotta spool up that disc. There we go. Uh, I heard somebody use it in those pretty rough artifacting, kind of robotic voice. I've noticed that too. Uh, it's weird, because nobody else really talks about that. Um, but then again, I was using it through a cheap desk mic. So I'm not sure. Premiere can't even remove noise with tools after rendering. How the hell is a graphic card going to do that with voices in real time effectively? I mean, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it does screen out my keyboard. But I did hear that sort of, like, tinniness to the audio. Noise removal artifacting, really. Exact thing that everyone was already talking about. The, I wonder what the fastest way to bring up the save menu is. Maybe it's Control S? It is! Yes, it's, you gotta ray trace that audio, it's easy. Anyway. Apologies, apologies for the, the snippiness, uh, but sometimes it is nice to push back a little bit. Sometimes it's nice to push back a little bit. Will Cyberpunk run okay on a 2070? I think so, Brute. If you're playing in, uh, 1080, you should be totally covered. What's your option, opinion on SLI? Eh, I had bad experiences with it, especially streaming. I SLI does not play well with capture hardware or with, like, OBS. So, uh, in general, I find that overcomplicating a hardware setup just invites, invites a lot of, uh, failure points. <laughs> there has to be lag, yeah. I take, Ray can only trace so quickly. 
an SLI dead? I don't think it's widely supported or pushed anymore, no. Dead might be a little strong, but yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's really a Nvidia's thing anymore. Awesome. Call frequency four. Oh. Such a video game thing, a drawer with exactly one thing in it. Electrical tape over the logo. Oh, big Resident Evil vibes. Checking drawers. So it looks like there's like paper on top of the desk. It's like falling off there. I want a new CPU strictly for when Cyberpunk gets released. Yeah, me, me too. But I just want to play the game, man. Ult is starting high school. Fuck. And I'm trying to convince her she needs my old desktop so I can build a fat rig. But prices are, <laughs> but prices suck at the minute for sure. Was that was that fuck? Uh, being forced to realize the passage of time. Your sweet child is almost an adult. Should we? I for inventory. Maybe I'll blow up this other door. Hell yeah. Ooh, I should have saved. There's gonna be mans hiding behind this door who are ready to pop out and shoot me. I can't add too many textures to the desk. <laughs> Game only has so much texture memory. And a lot of it is used on Ted. Well, let's get that triple gun ready. Oh. Oof. Oh, I'm so low on life. What's the install size of this game? It was like 70 megabytes. And that was for the maximum install. So it is it is streaming off the CDs, because there's three CDs. Lord, I have less less health than usual. Uh, pretty sure I see gas, a big old X. But what if I gas masked the gas? Yes. Love the prone guys. Okay, so I guess the grenade launcher is on every gun. Shut off. Please give me health. Come on. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm tense, I'm tense. Uh, come on. Story so far, let's see. Ted is just a dude trying to make it in a crazy world. And in this crazy world, uh, there is a cult called the Sect, who worship a machine called the Deck. And the Sect has almost taken over the world. Um, oh Christ, are you serious right now? Come on! Oh no. Uh, so, that's it. They blew up Ted's helicopter and now he's trying to fight the Sect because they're in here trying to murder people. start firing before it. Yeah, there we go. Woo. Use the Wee Blaster attachment. The Zapper? I'm trying to get out of here. Does anybody read? Rebel outpost here. What's the path? I unfortunately don't have a Zapper in my in my uh <laughs> my side desk, but Remember when YouTube was adding interactive elements to videos, they pulled back on that pretty quick. If they'd stuck with it, we'd probably have Hardline 10 by now. Man, I wish. I do remember Machinima made a ton of, like, interactive movie sequences. Like, they had a whole series where it was just, like... It was, like... It was stupid. It was, like... Each one was broken up into, like, 45 parts of, like, voting and clicking through a stupid thing. And the whole thing was just a metagame to drive up the view count of the network. That was it. It was so dumb. It was so dumb. Unlisted spam videos? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It didn't take me long before at Machinima I started to catch on that no one no one there gave a shit about like 
trying to make good videos that people wanted to watch. It was all about numbers. Actually, no, no one is not fair. Some of the people I worked with actually did care, but... There's the content they made didn't stick around for very long simply because they were trying to make cool stuff and not things that like just just gamed the shit out of early YouTube. And it was it was weird to be in that environment too, because I remember being in meetings where people would throw around numbers and I'm like, those numbers are not real. Just thinking in my head, like, this is all just like these are two people lying back and forth to each other. About, like, does, does anyone in this room think that any part of this is, like, normal, normal or honest business? I could never tell. I could never tell if everyone knew and we're just playing along. Oh, it wasn't the eat this. Oh, wait, that was, that was the bite me promo. That's right. Yeah. That was, uh, I guess that was Machinima's blood fest or whatever. Um, yeah, they, they did that and then they put the finish him pop up over over videos to promote um, the Mortal Kombat thing they had, except it popped up over an interview with somebody that had just recently passed away. And it was just like, oh, God. Sounds like working in finance? Oh, man. What was the deal with that? E yeah, the Ethos thing was to promote Bite Me, which was their premium content. Um, Bite Me was supposed to elevate the studio out of making gameplay videos into being a full-fledged production powerhouse. It is it is wild how much the like cycle turns of everyone watches gameplay videos because they like gameplay videos. And then for some reason the studios are like, well, wait a minute, what if we made movies? <laughs> that, that interesting divergence between what the audience demonstrates they want and people who always wanted to be uh, Steven Spielberg want. Or something, I don't know. Maybe it's just just one in the Hollywood system? I can't tell. Bang. Yeah, Nick Cage, that's weird. That's weird, the similarities. A dark hallway? It's a good thing I have just the item for this occasion. Actually, I'm gonna save first, because... Uh, I think I'm gonna spend most of this game very low on life. Near the end of their run, me and a few friends tried to do stuff with Machinima, and the contract they sent us was so bad it would have done less for us to work with them than to just do stuff on our own. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's another fun part of the, like, the, the like, system turn, is that you extract X money from, like, your your bread and butter, right? So for, for Machinima, it was like, we're getting X dollars out of our partner networks. And based on those X dollars, they would go and spend, like... X times 50% dollars on something else. They would like run way over their budget. And so to make up for that, and, and they would also bank on the infallibility and perfection of their project. So they'd be like, we got this money, we're gonna leverage that to get investment uh, from another party. And we're gonna take, you know, three X dollars and make this. And that's gonna give us 12 X dollars back. Uh, except that every time they make that other thing, it always fails, <laughs> or it has, has so far always failed. So then you come back with even less money than you set out with, and you're like, crap, we got to get more money out of our bread and butter. And then you start to squeeze your moneymaker. And it works in the short term because it always works in the short term. So you squeeze that moneymaker, you get a little more money out. Except it's scorched earth. Like every time you squeeze it, it gets a little less resilient. It's a little less blood comes back every time you squeeze that stone. So they squeeze it once, and they almost get back to middle. And then they go make a thing again, a very expensive thing, because they learn their lessons. This time it's going to work. And then it doesn't work. Oh, I'm out. I must be out of a uh, triple gun. That's not good. So yeah, by the end of it, late game, they have to put out contracts that are so one-sided and like don't return any value to anyone because they have no options left. There's no more money. It burned it all. Sounds like successful business. Yeah, I mean, it's. I get it. It's. It's. You're making the best call you can in the given moment, but it's like. Companies that kind of routinely bet the farm and grow and grow, they actually make inc incredible stuff. I feel like Nintendo, CD Projekt, for now. Early Blizzard. Ah! Ah, crap. Uh, Disney. The, like, the, the meteoric rise of those companies happened in a certain way because the things they made were, like, a certain quality bar. And, uh... 
it's it's interesting to me to see to see companies come to market with certain things that are obviously not that not like not world changing properties or like new tech or it's just like okay this is a slightly worse version of a thing that already exists um and i just i I've never been in that position, uh, that decision-making position, so I, I don't understand any of the nuance of it. And I'm sure there's a lot. Um, you know, this this is this is bordering bordering on, if not full into, armchair executive territory. But sometimes I I'm uh, I'm confused. Yeah. Let's see here. New SLI with massive variable sets. Oh. Interesting, Trey. New SLI is more for science simulations with massive variable sets. Hey. Gotcha. Chill out. Should I... Can't shoot women? This is like the first woman in the game, right? Come on. I don't even look like a sec toy. You want to put down bets if uh, she will be a romantic interest to being the only female in the game? I must have a known twin in a sect. All the rebels want to drop me. Uh, value fries? Thanks for the sub. Also, Indiana Junkins. Listen, Thanks for the reset. Hard netting for three whole months. Ted Irvin. Oh, he's got a last name. Familiar. I'm not. Who are you? Let's just say we're on the same side. Well, now that we've been introduced. I don't like Disney Sully for basically making animation associated with stuff for children. Hmm. I'm curious. I'm curious what you mean by that. Do you find something predatory in the in the? aspect of making products for kids it's like you're you're kind of indoctrinating a, a generation to nintendo kind of has the same vibe by the way um i feel like there's so many so many similarities between nintendo and disney both in their business operations and the way that they like the way that they've inserted themselves into uh, media culture it is nice to meet you at last lock him up alone are sectoids people yes uh, Andre Srinky, uh, sectoids are a cult called, are members of a cult called the sect, and the sect worships a giant computer called the deck. There, you got the, you got the setup, I think. And they're crazy. Or are they? Yeah, ODS, ODS Troy. I got the cyberpunk chair. That's so great. I'm so lucky. Stephanie got it, basically, and she gave it to me because she's the best. Can't, I can't interact with anything, huh? Oh, okay. True power. I just needed him to stare at me for a bit. Deck. Dead. The new Dermaternal Classic Mode filter makes cutscenes look like these FMV games. Wait, there's a classic filter? Huh? Did that get added in the last patch? Free you of weakness. If it can't resist, it can't exist. <laughs> what? You must give your life to the deck. He will. Wait for me outside, Morgan. I'm gonna check that out. I just had a big free update. I mean, yeah. I know they added like. Hold on. But that is of no importance. The deck is above us all. No one can escape his will, especially. The deck got a dick? Is that your comfy? I'm thinking I'm hard about dropping 450 on a secret life chair. I like it a lot. It is pretty comfy. It's pretty resistive and it's pretty firm. Um, but uh, I like it quite a bit. I've only had it for about a day. But uh, deck dick riddick. Exactly. Uh, but given that I sit in this chair for like up to 12 hours a day. Uh, it's it's got to be, it's got to be pretty good stuff to not to not have my body ache by the end of the day. I will say like after eight hours of sitting, which is what I'm creeping up on right now, my butt gets a little sore. I don't think there's any any way around it. 
Ah, remember in the past when things were brighter? Like, it's weird that they... I guess they just throw a brightness filter over the whole thing because it even affects the, like, top and bottom? Okay, it's gone now. Gotta break it in? That's true. I gotta grind my booty curve into this game. New update added six or seven in-game new game uh, render and filters and stuff? Okay. I guess that's my past. Playing with a helicopter and a picturesque Canadian, I'm gonna guess? Town? Is the, is the deck cyberizing me? Is the deck in my brain? Is the deck probing my thoughts? Metal Stone, thank you for the sub. Does the base actually attach to the seat, or does it just rest on it? Uh, it just rests on it, but... Like, I mean, like most chairs, there's a base, a hydraulic piston, and then the chair rests on the hydraulic piston that has a big, uh, button in the top to raise or lower it. That then, you know, you can articulate with a, with an arm. Deck Dick Riddick makes me think of that random generator for nondescript big man of Mass Effect 3 on your team. Uh, that's so good. Big Rip McDick Large. Oh, Vega, or whatever that guy's name was. Oh, he got cyberized! That was sick! The deck is mom? They said his. The deck has got to be a dude. Again, the only woman in this game has to be that one chick, and we have to have sex with her before this game is over. Awesome! Remember swapping CDs, guys? Remember? Uh-oh. I don't think it opened. Sometimes the drive doesn't open, like it catches. Ooh, ooh, I can, I can hear it. I can hear it trying. Uh oh. Oh. Please. Oh, God, crap. What's the problem? It did this like once before, and then it would, uh, and then it actually opened. So. There it goes. I got it. There she goes. Whew, that was close. How many CDs is this game? Three. But the first game, or the first disc has installation media on it, so the first disc might be shorter. The other two can be all business. Ah, here we go. Uh, uh, disc two. There we go. Get out that paper clip. There's a sticker over the, uh, the manual eject port, but... I'd have to like try and find it and just stab through. I have stickers all over my my PC case. That's my that's my computer mod. Oh yes. Next time on Hardline. I think this is as far as we got. <coughs> Heard a meow. Was that you? Maybe it was. I just got done playing beach ball. Maybe, maybe I'm a, a, a cat anime boy with giant balls. Well, this gun fires way faster, too. Tanuki, yeah. Uh, an excessively testicled Tanuki. Some kids losing their mind next door. You gotta watch what I'm saying. It's unfortunately not an automatic. That would make this game much easier. I still gotta click my head off every time. Oh, this guy's ready for action. Oh no, we got a little. We got a little further than this. Just straight up, they're setting off fireworks next door. LA loves their damn fireworks, man. This is why I need the power of RTX voice. What the hell? the cat again? It might be outside? Hmm. This 
gun is so much better. Oh my gosh. I live in roughly the same part of town. Fireworks from May through July every year. It feels like it's so much more this year, though. Maybe it's like everyone's just... Everyone's really amped for explosions. My mic setup? It's uh, a Shure 7-something-B into a uh, Scarlet Focusrite thing. And then from there into USB. Into, uh, into my streaming PC. Where OBS picks it up. Uh, what headphones are you rocking? Uh, Sennheiser HD58X. I think I have most of this stuff written down on my info page. Uh, would you play Rebel Assault 2? Um, I, hmm. I mean, I would, but I don't think I'm going to play it anytime soon. Not when I have a dreamy game like Hardline. Okay, I got my guns back. Bang. Focus right 2i4, good preamp. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Gun's firing slower now. I guess I got overworked a little bit. What pants are you wearing? I can't answer that. We'll find a way across that gap someday, Ted. Damn it! God, Ted is already gasping for air. It seems like, uh... It seems like the mans come out and shoot you, but all the robots will, like... The shield mans will throw shit, and all the robots drop stuff, but... Seems like it's more about not getting hit with that stuff than it is killing those enemies. They don't even seem to really, like, drop items all that often either. That's why you wouldn't tent check. Yeah. A lone tree, a lone pillar standing tall cannot be checked. Just tapping random buttons and gasping for air. Um... Metal Stone 2000. Uh, I know that I already thanked you, but I'm thanking you again. Also, no name 8823. Thanks for the prime sub. There is a trend of people with four four numbers on the end of their name. In fact, there were multiple Ice Men last night that had four numbers on the end of their name. So I thought that was I thought that was interesting. Should you play Hell. Ah, uh, yeah. I want to play Hell. I want to play Ripper. There's a lot of amazing mid 90s FMV games that need playing. Let's see here, I need a code. Wait. Wait, what? Oh no, I don't know where I am anymore. A lot of pipes though. Oh, is this the deck? Am I am I crawling around in the deck? Oh! There's a bridge here. Alright. I know exactly where I'm going. This way. Oh no, the, the tiny car will shoot sometimes, it looks like. Yeah, Ripper's the one with Christopher Walken. And in fact, the streamer that I name dropped before has it's been playing through it. Fuck! Bird! Ugh! Oof. And that was not very big dick of you, Ted. Johnny Mnemonic had an FMV game? What? Alright, well, I gotta check that out. Yeah. This is a kill game and it will make you kill if you play too much. Oh, we'll see about that. I can do a lot of killing.
Is rail game the right term for this type of game? Uh, yeah, there's rail shooting in it. There, Jesus. God. How do you even? I got plenty of shotgun ammo. Maybe I should start using that. Oh, Iceman is a popular name because of Chuck Liddell. That's a good point. It's the four numbers on the end. The exactly the four numbers. Because Iceman 0400, I don't even think... Like, there's another Iceman who has different numbers. Oh, wait. What is that? Aha! Pipe. Weird. Is this the funhouse copy of the game? No, it's my copy of the game. We played it because it was mine. I'm gonna just reverse the footage. <laughs> Flavor Town 6969. Now that's a real... That's a real name right there. That's a real man's internet name. Labored breathing the game. <laughs> oh, dang it. If only I had some kind of tool. Maybe some kind of like pipe <laughs> I could smash that box open with. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure this is Oh, come on. Come on. Kind of playing more Siberia? Yeah, actually. Oh yeah, you get flash banged, and then you gotta shoot mans. Okay, that's not an item? It's not, okay. Oh, it is, never mind. Does it say Virgin Interactive on the box? Uh, I think it might, actually. Hold on. Uh, no, Interplay. Oh, it does. No, never mind. Bridging Interactive. Yeah, it's right there. Look at that. This this truly was a meeting of many, many, many big minds. So I got the I got the thing. I got a la disc launcher. What is that? Has anyone heard about Doctor Disrespect since the ban? Well, he just tweeted. He just tweeted being, like, indicating that he didn't know, which is hard to buy, but... So I have a pipe, and I have a disc launcher. He said on Twitter he didn't know what happened. Yeah, blinding disc launcher. He did say that. God, I don't want to see this anymore. Seems like Legalese Doc's response. It does, right? Like, it seems like he's he's publicly professing ignorance of the state of affairs. Um, it seems like he... This this is just total gut read for a person I've never met and have no idea what's going on with. But it does sort of feel like uh, he's saying that to create a mystique of, uh, of, of lack of knowledge. I used to mod another streamer that was permabanned and he was never told on Twitch why, so it's possible. Yeah, but... Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. It's possible, sure, but... The fact that he was deplatformed from multiple things... Why do I keep getting turned around? Hold on. Where do I have to click? Yeah, they refunded everything. His subs are gone. He, I thought he got taken off of Twitter. So, hold on. Do I have to turn around again? I do. Okay, you have to turn around twice in a row. Which, in a normal game, would have you going back where you came from, but not in Hardline. I think I'm legitimately at zero HP, so this is this is difficult. Did 
These companies can do whatever they want in this dystopia. <laughs> Jeez. I guess they can, but companies aren't in the practice of removing money-making partners unless they have a really good reason. Now that I have pipe, what does pipe open me up to do? Nah, yeah, we don't know. Odds are we may never. Free no speech is either 100% or 0%. No, it's not. Beer. No, it's not. That's that's the sort of thing that people say when they're trying to justify some weird-ass shit, so... <sighs> either I can do whatever I want all the time, or the concept has no value. <laughs> like, that's, that's what that reads like to me. <laughs> And, uh, that is how a lot of people are acting these days. This whole, like... Sorry, I, I... I will admit, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater, yeah. I gotta admit, um... I'm a little on edge at people who are, who are slapping the, like, free speech thing right now, because I've, I've seen people use it to defend not wearing, uh... Not wearing masks and stuff like that, and that just gets... That gets on, that gets on my hackles. I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest, so... If I'm resp responding a little more fiery than usual, that's why. Where, what the heck, man? I can't... I remember getting stuck here for a long time before, but... Coping with losing my favorite streamer after you revealed some wacky shit? Stay awesome. Oof. Well, I don't have a whole lot of wacky shit to reveal, so... Don't have a code for that. I have the blinding disc launcher. Wait, I got a, when did I get a key? I can probably open that stupid crate. All right, never mind. Using masks outside of the house? Yeah. Like a civilized individual. Yep. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back to that that very sick crate. Hopefully I walk in slow lumbering fashion while breathing heavily. Yes. I am Curla. Thank you for the sub. Ah, yeah, GD. Yep. Uh, Slasher claims he's been told by Disrespect was banned, doesn't want to disclose it because of how severe and sensitive it is. Yeah. Which which also says a lot because Slasher leaks damn near everything he gets. Damn near everything. So, like, ab above all of the, like, conspiracy level stuff, the fact that Slasher is keeping quiet about it means it's bad. It's bad and it implicates a lot of other people. Uh, people who are innocent and could stand to be damaged if the truth came out. That, that's what it says to me. Which... I don't... There's, there's no, there's no point in, in theorizing, but there are a couple of... There are a couple of things... That could, uh... Could tack up to that. Aha! Alright. I have attained the code! Yeah, maybe, Gray. Things were like... Revealing what happened, yeah, to, to me it reads as like, revealing what happened would have a massive and very negative effect on people who are not responsible for what happened. Like, it would, it would further hurt people who have already been hurt. <sighs> Makes me think it's criminal, yeah. Which also might be the reason for the tweet, is that his lawyers were like, okay, here's what you say. Here's how to start establishing a narrative that you didn't know what was going on. And that it's all like, it's all a conspiracy or whatever. So you gotta, you gotta, you have to have something public and visible establishing a timeline of when you knew what you knew. Um, there's a rumor him, Shroud, and Ninja are going to Spotify's new streaming platform. Man, I wanted to believe it wasn't a publicity stunt, and and certainly like that rumor doesn't verify it, but it would be uh, it would be extremely depressing if it were. Use code on code. Beep boop boop beep. And assault until proven guilty. So beer, it's fun you bring that up. Because that is that is a principle that it only applies in the court of law for criminal proceedings. 
that is that is a quantum of proof that is required in the highest court for the highest kind of crime. It doesn't apply anywhere else, really. Are we... Jesus, beer. Are you really gonna say that? Beer. I'm trying to be chill. But you're... you're... you're pushing it. I'll tell you you're pushing it. Don't make me time you out. Because you're... you're actively trying now. You're actively trying. So, I'm gonna give you a chance to back down. And if you don't, I will have to violate your free speech privileges. Yeah, and also... Oh, now you're the victim? So... Here's the thing, Beer. You can't walk into a room and act like an asshole and then pretend to be the victim when people react to you like you're an asshole. So, I rest my case. Uh, okay. Well, if you actually shut up now, then we're cool. Because I don't mind letting you think you have the last word. But, uh, you keep going off. Just being a, a grade school troll. It won't be hard to deal with that. Uh, uh, no, too much! <sighs> okay, that was close. Yeah, I always wanted to beat this game, Jonald. Uh, but never... Never did. I'm crazy just playing on one save file like that. That's real gamer mode, baby! I can't be... Safe, safe scumming and safe staggering is for cowards! I'm gonna let this guy buzz on off. Whoop! I love that dude that rolls into the, the walkway. That's so good. Uh, Myerable? That's a cool name. Thanks for the sub! Doc, have any hints? I mean, a lot of people have been reading into his behavior right before a stream cut. Like, he seemed pretty tilted, he seemed pretty weird, he was saying some strange things. Which may be the reason for the tweet, is like, the lawyer might be, yeah, you were, you were like really telegraphing that you knew you did something wrong. So we need you to do this tweet, to, to kind of establish the narrative that, that you were out of the loop. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just making stuff up. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I am, uh, privy to exactly the same information that all of you guys are. Oh, I got a new gun! Give it a little test fire, a little test pop. I don't have a whole lot of ammo for anything. Ooh. I can smell IDW stench from a mile. What's IDW? On the interwebs, everyone is a lawyer. You're right! Dang. Forgot about all the... Oh yeah, what's what's the David Ick stuff? Icky. I'm scared to bring it up because, I don't know, the doc has been getting... getting into some weird shit lately. Which, of course, he's allowed to. But... If it's really bad, surely it will be in a court case at some point? Yeah, but I don't know that those details will ever be released, released publicly. Beer, you keep saying that is all, and yet you keep talking. Why is that? What do you think about this wife cheating thing? Seems crazy to get banned for cheating on your wife, not saying it was right. He didn't. He didn't get banned for cheating on his wife. What are you talking about? He stepped away from his stream for a while. To basically, like... And if anything, that demonstrates that he knows how to, uh... He knows how to negotiate bad press. Um... So, I don't know. Doc is clearly good, clearly good at dunking bad stories. Because he, he knew that uh, his infidelity was going to come out, so he got ahead of it, he admitted it, he seemed contrite, and he stepped away from his stream for a little bit. But he didn't get banned. Where's that coming from? What do you, what do you guys, you guys keep saying that, it didn't happen. He didn't get banned for that. He got banned for violating California state law. Uh, for a little bit. I think innocent until proven guilty can be used outside of court. If you assume malice on people prematurely, it give you a grim view of people. There's a difference between assuming malice and trusting 50% of the evidence. Um, so it's... 
If and it's it's also just like trusting trusting overwhelming evidence. So specifically, the case that it keeps getting thrown around now is, if five women come forward, and a, 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 five disconnected women, come forward and accuse one man of sexual assault. That should be pretty compelling evidence. Should be, and based on that evidence. It seems like it's a reasonable to assume they might be telling the truth. Um, so you as an individual can be like, maybe that person did do it and I'm going to stop supporting them. That doesn't mean that you're sentencing them to a crime in a criminal court. You're just using your information at your disposal to re make a judgment call. And in that circumstance, guilty until proven innocent doesn't necessarily apply. Also, the people who like... It's all probabilistic interference. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually. Um, also, like, the innocent until proven guilty thing allows you to kind of hide behind a logical screen of being like, uh... uh of basically claiming that no amount of evidence presented is, is, is valid enough. So it, it's a rhetorical device used by people who, uh, or commonly, it's a rhetorical device used by people who are trying to uh, discredit credible evidence. Ah, fucking Christ. Beer. Beer, how many times? Hold on. I, you want you want to get banned, I know, and I'm not going to do it, um, because I know that's what you want, and it'll make you, it'll make you claim victory. I don't want you to do that, but I know this game, so here you go. Ten minutes, beer. You can sit there and fume and come up with new ways to troll people. And in ten minutes, I'll see what you came up with. And we'll see then if you think you're an effective troll. Um, until then, you get to deal with people uh, refuting all your points and you can't talk. Now, what, what are options are available to you? You can register a new account and come back. I'll time that one out too, and it doesn't take that long. You can wait the 10 minutes and then try again. Come out with your best troll. I'm excited to see what it is, and then I'll just, I'll just time you out again. Or you can, I don't know, maybe stop being that guy. That's all you gotta do. Just stop being that guy. Maybe a hobby for you. I know it's hard to give up on hobbies. I like playing video games, that's my hobby. Um, maybe this is yours. It's not a very good one. You're also not very good at it. But this is this is how we get better. Okay, so I gotta f wait. Hold on. Do I have a, a grappling hook and a bar? Do I use the bar on the lasers? Where are your hacker glasses? Uh, they're in a box somewhere. Oh, Caged Money. Thank you for the three subs. Also on Deadpool. Thank you for the five subs. Damn, dude. Thank you, guys. You didn't have to be so nice. Oh, yeah, boss. I mean, it was Fable and it was another thing, right? The, uh... The, um... It was, like, two placeholders. It was Fable and another one. But nobody... Nobody knows that they're, like, actually connected to a reboot, are they? Like, it's just, like, they got registered, so it might be a troll. That, that feels like... That feels like troll. Like, registering URLs and stuff like that. New Fable confirmed? Yes. New Fable 100% confirmed. They were, like, registered with the, like, placeholder account and stuff like that? I don't know. It's too obvious. New Fable's been confirmed for a while? Huh? Has it? Yeah, I can't remember what the other game was. Dang it. Um, so wait, I went through, I went through, oh shoot. I went through the, the code door. Oh, perfect dark, that's right. So I went through code door, but I don't, I didn't pick up any items on the other side of code door. Which tells me I didn't do everything I needed to do beyond code door. So let me go back to code door. I'm saying that a lot. Great for PC, Xbox Game Pass has been wonderful. Yeah. Except for the inability to mod and get to system files. I think they changed that, Scundies. 
I think they changed that actually. I think I think it's got a normal installation structure now. I could be wrong because I remember that being a thing of like, ooh, PC. The the PC gamers are not gonna like that. Um, You know, it's quality cyberpunk when you get the bleepy bloops. I think my favorite cyberpunk trope of all time is like the music that plays in hacking minigames. What are people trolling about? Nothing, nothing important. Nothing worth talking about. Oh, Gray, are you heading out? Hopefully you have a great night. Okay, so yeah, there was a hallway I didn't go down. Aha! I've never felt more satisfied in a video game. Weird climbing technique there, Ted. I don't know that you can really climb that way, but whatever. Compton, thank you for the 10 subs, Mr. Krells. Or Kells, excuse me. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the gift. You guys are dropping fat stacks, thank you. Clearly 90s FMV works for you guys. There must be a birthday party or something next door. Who wants to give himself to the deck? He does. What? Just because he's sleeping? What? <laughs> Never fall asleep during the sectoid uh, staff meeting. Oh man, you pass out during the all hands, you're getting fed to the deck. There's free coffee in the break room for a reason, Todd. That dude got computer melted? What? Did it eat him? Oh, she's back. Where did you come from? That's a great question. Sewer. The trick is getting out of here. You in? Sure. Yeah, Just don't get a spot. So wait, she broke out too? But she doesn't have psychic powers. Immediately get spotted, alright. Also again, still only female in the entire game. And she's gone now. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's go time. Hold on. Let me. Oh, this music rules. Oh, oh, he was still alive. Ow! I've never had more fun in my life. Zeddy Bear, thank you for the sub, man. Like that dude coolly standing backwards, like when Ted walks around the corner, I'm gonna flip around and shoot him. Blah, just gets shot in the neck. Teddy Bear, thanks for gifting five subs, dude. Thank you so much. God. Ted acts like he holds his breath during all the cutscenes and plays catch up during all the action. God, you're right. Oh, where'd that sick music go? There it is. Just waiting for the guns. There's like a dude back there on a Casio keyboard. He's like. Oh, got a boss fight. I had more grenades this time. Oh, wait, we're not done. <laughs> My only complaint is that this song does not play on loop for the entire game. Which is, a, frankly, a very serious complaint. <laughs> 
Something looks just weird about that broken okay. glass. I don't know. Is she gonna have a name? Okay. Uh oh. Catherine. There is one woman in this game, and she's got a name. What's the plan? Got any bright ideas? You drive us before us. Let's see here. Another random thought I've been having. I'm kind of overwatching YouTube videos where YouTube cracks wise on some viral video of some idiot being stupid or racist or something. Like it feels like I'm clapping myself on the back for jumping over the lowest hurdle. You just described most popular entertainment. Stuff that makes you feel good by vaulting the lowest possible denominator. Yeah. You're right. I mean, it's... it's. I feel like part of, like, getting older, and especially once you've consumed a certain... A, fun, a certain, like, amount of media, you start to understand certain concepts about mass entertainment, and it's totally fine to be like, you know what, that stuff doesn't work for me anymore. The, the important thing at that point is to not look down on that content for for other people. Because other people can still find that entertaining. And it's tough at that point to not be like, I've grown beyond that. I'm better than that now. Wow. She got me. Uh, rule of books. Thanks for gifting a sub. The music's kind of offbeat, but all right. Okay, it doesn't actually loot properly. This is like some toady shit. You just drop a beat out of that last measure. I'm gonna get that. I'm, I want to get that drop at some point. <laughs> Hits a little early. Yeah, I can cut the tambourine guy back there. There's some dude just hitting a stick on a pipe. Dink, 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 dink. Mm, I think the most important lesson is about about mass entertainment is not about making a good product, but what can make the most money. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you see that in games and music and movies and everything. Um, there is some there is some art art that's produced just to give people good vibes, and part of that process is scrubbing out anything that would give anyone a bad vibe. So you like, yeah. So it's a thing. Oh, I can choose a bed. Uh-oh. Actually, yeah, lo-fi beat thumbnails. Oh, man. She's she's studying right now. Uh, I was going to say, uh, whoever says it in chat first gets it, but Suns 2 basically already did. So let's click on that bed. Hey, Catherine, I'm Ted. You're the only woman in this game, so you know what that means. Sits on her bed and Dad, stares at her. You're on my mattress. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow, the chemistry between these two. <laughs> you're on my mattress, and you're about to be on my face. <laughs> That's how she turned the lights off, huh? I always love that, like... <laughs> what you thinking about? You thinking about the deck? What? I always love movie people that fall asleep by just going... And just immediately out. Oh, God, Ted. Because I hate the sect. Because they destroyed everyone I loved. Everyone? <laughs> yeah, everyone. Do you like chocolate or vanilla better? Why, how'd you meet Morgan? Just how things happened. What do you think about Isil? I think he's I cute. evacuating a warehouse. Ginja Ninja. Thanks for, the, thanks for the prime sub. I'm not even from Detroit, actually. You're Oof. not. Fake Detroit boy. I used to be in Chicago. A long time ago. Where are you from? I like how he's got his soft voice on now. Yeah, he's sensitive but strong. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Diminutive. <laughs> sensitive, strong, huge dog. It helps. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Man, she handled his ass. Ted, go to sleep. Ted, shut up. Catherine? I'm glad to be your friend. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Deadpool. <laughs> hey, Catherine. Did I ever tell you about my helicopter? Hey, Catherine. <laughs> you kind of look like a helicopter. I'm going to give you a ride in my helicopter someday. Am I getting deck visions again? What's happening here? Oh, your presence says it was delivered on Friday. Am Graham, I think I have it right here. Uh, uh, I was waiting for you to be here so I could open it. Um, wait. I hope this is from you. Uh, did you send me? Hold on a second. Did you send me this? Is that yours? Because if so, I'll open it right now. Oh, I don't think so. Never mind. Oops. It, may, it might still be at the post office, so I'll go grab it. It was a box. Okay. Did you hear about all the RTX features 2077 will have? No. I assumed it was just reflections and lighting. Well, I guess that, that could mean a lot. Wow. This is the third time now. The third time the plot has had them go away from enemies and just to have the enemy suddenly show up and be shootable. Dear, 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 dear. I'll be thinking about that song a lot. That song is way cooler than this one. Whoa, oh, okay. What the hell was that? I've been doing the strangest things with my mind. With your mind? But Look, Lars, I don't have the time to talk about it right now. Attention all rebels. Clear the area immediately. We're outnumbered and outweaponed. Yes. Come on, Lars, let's get out of here. Ted has mind powers. He could he could levitate objects in the last chapter, and now I guess he can scream at people and have them explode. But he's Lars! decided that he doesn't want to do that anymore, Yo, and will instead go back to shoot all everyone he sees. And Lars is gone. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay. I thought it was frozen for a second. Uh, I gotta take a break. Use the restroom. Got to do that sometimes. Uh, Hammy Dan, thank you for the Prime sub. But uh, this game is phenomenal. Uh, I'll be right back. For some odd oh, reason, real quick. There's so, you guys called it. You were in chat. I wasn't even looking at the time here. Uh, it's Beat Mania time. So, I'm going to wrap up. Sorry, I also spilled, like, I'm having my, my final 1,000 calorie week meal. Um, sorry, and, and a noodle shot out onto my desk. And I just cleaned my desk, so I apologize about that. Um, it's B-Mania time, so I'm going to set that up. It will take a little bit, because it requires moving some stuff around. And whatever, not going to worry about that. It requires moving some stuff around. And uh, yeah, Globe Reaper, I've been, I've been on Nutrisystem this week as part of an Instagram activation, because I'm doing it, man. I'm out here. I'm out here influencing. Um, if you, actually, if you guys are curious about that, you can use the diet command in chat to get my promotional link. I'm sure they would like tons of people to click on that. Up to you, though. Feel free to ask me questions about it. I am now a, a diet. Yeah, I'm trying to get jacked, man. This is it, Dominion. Um, all right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to hook up Beatmania. It's buried over here. And uh, set up the camera on my desk and all that stuff. So Saturday night, Beats coming back. See you guys in just a second. Good job.